Hello there. I know, the first thing you will think of when you hear Kia is surely not that of a big nice sports car. But here I am, to prove you wrong. And me too, because I also couldn't believe it. So the new Kia Stinger is exactly that. A stinger in your ass. <coughs> they focused only on one engine this time and they ditched the other ones altogether. Remaining are only these two engines. Both have 3.3 liters of displacement and are twin turbocharged. Only difference is that one is gas powered and the other with diesel. The gas one makes 366 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. It's rear wheel drive normally and that's the one I would get but here in Luxembourg I could only find models with all wheel drive system. Don't know exactly why. Anyway. The car drives via an 8 speed automatic gearbox and will cost you only 54,000 euros. In my eyes, a pretty good deal. They made a few design changes, not a lot though, so don't expect too much. The rear end now has a full light bar instead of plastic in the middle, as the old one. We still got quad exhaust pipes and some fake vents here on the sides and the hood, but they were also on the old one. We get new alloy wheels, but otherwise it's exactly the same as the old Stinger, apart from the headlights maybe. On the inside, this car really surprised me. A big center touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We still get analog rev and speed counters. A wireless charging station for your mobile phone and a frameless rear view mirror. Plus a sunroof and leather trim all around the car, combined with full leather seats and you have a really nice interior for your money. And all of this I mentioned before is standard in the new Kia Stinger. There are no special packages to buy or extra options, apart from other color choices for the paint. Other than that, it comes like this all the time, fully loaded. And there is more. We get a heads up display, adaptive cruise control, all around cameras, heated steering wheel and electric seats that are heated and cooled in the front and heated in the back as standard. I will repeat myself, as standard. Do you hear this? All the other car brands pretty much? Do you hear this? Okay, there also have to be some downsides, no? Well, that depends on what you call down. The front seats are mounted down to one position, we get an electric trunk with 408 liters, Different driving modes, but sadly no individual custom mode, to save our own preferences. And there are some USB ports, but here they are of the old version. A good thing, the stability control goes all the way off. And we get, once again, as standard, Brembo brakes with 4 piston calibers in the front and 2 piston calibers in the back. Also, for bigger drifts, Kia gave this car a mechanically limited slip differential. This was honestly one of the best cars I ever did a video on. Not because of the raw power or something. Because in that category it surely isn't the best. But this car comes at a fair price, has decent power and gives you all this luxury as standard. I'm really surprised. And I will keep looking now Kia. I see you. I see you. Have a great one guys. And as always. Keep it floored.